Why does everyone hate Velma? The short answer, people don't like sarcastic women. And the long answer, well, let's get into it. I've been noticing that my entire YouTube suggestion feed is just people hating on this show Velma. But like, why? So, I mean, there's lots of videos like this. Now, this is going to be a disorganized and completely incoherent analysis on Velma and the whole hate train that occurred on Twitter for the past few months. If you're looking for an analysis on what the modern writing, why modern writing has failed us, all this kind of stuff, don't look here. I'm just going to be telling you what I think and I'm not going to go crazy and saying this is the worst show ever made. No, I think it's a fine show. I watched the first three episodes. It's fine. It's not the best comedy, but... It has a lot of funny moments and some not so funny moments, but that's like every comedy, you know, not everything's gonna hit. If you don't know, HBO recently decided to take a mature take on Velma. You know Velma from Scooby-Doo? You probably know this already because literally everyone's talking about this show for good and... No, not good. They're just talking about it for the bad reasons. All I see is Velma cringe, Velma cringe X, Y, Z. Well, as I was saying, basically HBO wanted to take a mature look into the Scooby-Doo universe, even though Scooby is not actually in it. So it stars Mindy Kaling as Velma, Glenn Howerton as Fred, Constance Wu as Daphne, and Sam Richardson as Norville, aka Shaggy. And there's actually no Scooby-Doo in this mature take of Scooby-Doo. And obviously the show centers on Velma, as the title will tell you. This show is a lot more mature. There's violence, there's like sex, there's cartoon partial nudity. It's basically just, it's basically just euphoria, but with Scooby-Doo characters, minus the drugs, minus the heart depression, and you know, okay, never mind. it's not like euphoria at all. It's kind of like the grassy, because euphoria is just depressing. I watched one episode of that show, I couldn't keep going. So like, why is everyone obsessed with hating on this show? Well, first, it has a mature tone, so there's lots of swearing and mature themes. On one hand, I can see if you're like a puritanical religious person, you would be angry that this is kind of like a pipeline to watching a mature show. Like, say, for example, you're a kid and you like Scooby-Doo, you would think, oh, I'm going to watch the new Scooby-Doo show about Velma. Well, I mean, if you're mad at HBO for making this show, you probably need to be a better parent and just make sure your kids aren't gonna watch it. I mean, I feel like people are need to learn how to parent their own kids instead of expecting all these production companies to do it for them, honestly. Like, you might be upset about that. Like, oh, why Scooby-Doo having a mature show? I Honestly, in my opinion, I think it's quite admirable that they're like experimenting out of the norm. Like, imagine there was a mature version of SpongeBob. I think that would kind of slap. That would kind of slap. Mature version of Spongebob. Imagine Spongebob and Patrick smoking weed and making burgers. Like, isn't that the dream? Isn't Spongebob already a stoner show? Imagine they grew up to be stoners. Like, that would just be epic. So besides that, like, why is everyone so freaked out about this show? It can't be just that there's mature tones to a Scooby-Doo show. Well... That brings us to the point. Velma is very outspoken. She is sarcastic and has a similar demeanor to like Ryan Reynolds in Deadpool or really Ryan Reynolds in any movie. So, and also keep that in mind for later because that's an important detail we're gonna touch on again. There's gonna be a callback. One issue is that there's meta comedy. If you don't know what meta comedy is, it's like self-referential. It's like the show knows it's a show. So it'll mention things like, Oh, this is the moment in a rom-com where the two leads would kiss, but unfortunately this isn't a rom-com. Well, I mean, that kind of humor can be funny, and I get it that mo not everyone might enjoy that, because it. I feel like it's not necessarily lowbrow. I think it's a little bit more highbrow comedy. I don't know, it's tough to say. It's kind of like f comedy for people who pay attention to these kind of things. Like if you just want like a Big Bang Theory where the jokes are so obvious, then sure. Like for me, you know, I was always ride or die community when Community and Big Bang were airing at the same time. The thing is Community is basically this. Community is full of meta jokes. Abed is Velma, you know? Abed is the embodiment of Velma right now. If you like Community and you enjoy Abed, 
I'm sure you'll find some enjoyment of this show, honestly. If you like any meta humor, like Rick and Morty uses it all the time, basically anything Dan Harmon, Rick and Morty and Community, and even Deadpool. Deadpool is straight up referential humor. It's the same type of thing. So why is everyone upset about Velma? Well, I think the root of it is that people... Well, there's a number of things. For one, Velma is very politically leaning. It's very, it's basically a lot of Twitter talking points thrown at you through the mouthpiece of a female lead from a lead that is a woman. And when that happens, you know, mm, certain types of people are not going to be into it, you know? Anyone who... It's, very, it's a very liberal leading show. Everything Velma says is extremely, as some people would label as woke culture. But realistically, I mean, everything she's saying is true. Like, she'll make jokes about how if you're a white male in the US, you can get away with anything. Those are true. That's true. And people just can't handle it. Like, let's look at an example of some Velma hate that I found online. Okay, let's watch this example of a hater of the Velma show. Get words for the uber woke Velma show that just dropped on HBO Max, the show that is a complete disgrace to the entire Scooby Doo universe. Things get a whole lot worse, and we're also going to be taking a look at some of the absolutely outrageous things that Mindy Cowling, who is voicing Velma in the show. So clearly, he has said absolutely nothing but create a big big stir out of it it's just outrage cult you know everything is just outrage on twitter this is the embodiment of twitter outrage in a video let's see this part i watched some of this video so we're gonna get into some of that as well so oh, we yes. have here this clip if i were a rich white dude i'd kill everybody just to get away with it yeah yeah so so that's you know, and the, the hilarious thing about this is that pretty much everyone has united in saying the show is absolutely terrible. Okay, the show currently sits at... So that dude just said a whole lot of nothing. Wow, wow. What, so what, what, did, what part of that did you find offensive, my guy? What part of that didn't you like? Because as I mentioned before, she's totally right. White people have a lot of privilege in the US and they can get away with anything basically. Like, bro... You gotta accept that. <laughs> and he just goes, wow, wow. We Everyone's unanimously acknowledged that this is a terrible show. As he's showing, people are mad at this show and review bombed it. Are you really telling me that the audience score is 7% makes any sense? Tomato meter, this is critics rating, 53%. I think that's perfectly fine. It's not the best written, it's not the best show ever. Realistically, I mean, it's a cartoon. What cartoon is getting like a super positive rating from critics? It's ridiculous to think like this is going to be like some Emmy worthy show. It's a cartoon. Tell me what the rating critics give to like normal Scooby Doo show. They probably don't even rate it whatsoever because it's not worth their time. But audience score of 7% is a ridiculous farce of a review from all these snowflake people who cannot handle a female lead. It's so apparent, and you'll see in this next part where he just goes, wow, wow, wow. We know the kind of people who will like this. It's just so such a dog whistle for people who cannot handle strong characters who are women. Of course, they, they threw in this type of stuff as well. <laughs> oh, this type of stuff. What does he mean by this type of stuff? Ah. Hmm, 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 hmm. Did that work? Yeah. Hmm. Yep. So that is, of course, uh, appealing to a very, very small section of the <laughs> the internet out there that are very easily swayed into loving anything that has this type of stuff in it, as you can see here. So, uh, so there's that as well. As soon as there's any kind of representation for LGBTQ+, he automatically goes, oh, there's this kind of stuff. Oh, we know this is gonna appeal to those kind of people. Okay, bro, just just say it. Just say you're homophobic. Like, let's just say that's why you would review bomb this show. Like, this is the typical hater of this kind of content. Like, you know, it's just a plot point that someone is queer. It's not like the main focus. It's not a joke. Like, it's not a. It's just a part of the focus. It's just a character arc. You know, like people have character traits. 
sexuality is just part of someone's character, right? So you can be part of the LGBTQ plus community and be a character and be legitimate. It's not political to just be who you are. How people just assume these kind of people who drive me insane that they think that any of this is political. What is the politics in this? This is just their life. You're insane to think that this is political. He's talking about how the writing is cringe and how he can't believe people actually watch this. It's like you're taking clips out of if you're taking clips out of context, it's not going to be funny. I mean, if you watch a comedy show like any comedy show, if you clip The Office, there's going to be parts that make absolutely no sense out of context. And even then there's so many jokes packed into every show. Like every line is a joke. Like not every single one is going to hit. And you guys are all just cherry picking the ones that talk about race in ter- against white people. So it's clear you are upset about that. Grow a pair, bro. So let's recap. The show is bad because it jokes about white people and has Velma and Daphne being gay. So what's wrong with that? What's the criticism? Why this is why conservatism conservatism never innovates in any way. If you try anything different, they get mad. You know you need to try new things and experiment or you will just up doing the same things over and over again. Honestly, how many of you are sitting down and watching a Scooby-Doo show? If a new Scooby-Doo show comes out, are you going to watch it? So why do you care? This is all just moral outrage. This is just outrage. I mean, I'm not going to lie. This dude, it's an easy clap for more content. I'm doing the same thing, right? I'm talking about him being such a bigot. It's just a circle of... of it's just a circle of discourse, you know, like one person says something, the other person comments on that, you know, but this is just content for them. But it also has a negative impact on society, you know, people are going to think, oh, can I watch a, a show with a, a comedy where a woman is leading it? It seems like no, because you're creating this perception that these shows are not funny when they are funny. You cannot even empathize with women. That's how you just see them as objects. The problem is you just cannot empathize with anyone that isn't a man. Like if this, if Velma was starring like Adam Sandler and had the same lines, you would probably love it. That's just how it is. Like, let's get to that. You know, like I have, you know, I have a friend who I always found this weird. He would mention, oh, that he hates Deadpool and Borderlands, the video game style comedy. And I never understood that because I actually liked those franchises and I thought they were kind of funny. And then I was thinking, those basically have the same comedy style as like Velma and She-Hulk. And I'm going to talk about this game, Forspoken, that recently came out. And She-Hulk is honestly a good show. I actually like She-Hulk. She-Hulk is pretty funny. Like, it's not, it's not going to hit every... Like, every second of it is not amazing, but it is funny. It's just a sitcom. It's like if they just took Modern Family and just had She-Hulk as the star instead. It's a funny show. And if you hate on She-Hulk, like, you're just sexist. Like, honestly. Like, you can dislike it if you don't think it's actually funny. But if you just hate it flat out because it's starring a woman, then that's just stupid. You're just limiting yourself to comedy at all. Like, if you can't name, like, any comedians who are women then there's something wrong with you then that's just a clear sign man come on this dude he's cringe like let's look at a velma cringe compilation that should tell you something also that there are velma cringe compilations and i didn't find any of it cringe it was just normal stuff my name is velma dinkley no it's not sure where is the cringe there how is that funny Normally, origin stories are about tall, handsome guys struggling with the burden of being handed even more power. Yeah, it was me, not Fred. That's true. You watch Riverdale or any of these CW shows? Like, what is a great sex fan? (laughs) And how do you feel about race blind casting, Daphne? I wasn't expecting such an enlightened answer from such a bitch. You almost killed me. Guess I didn't try hard enough. Uh, God. Okay, if you take any of these, these are all so out of context, that doesn't make any sense. So how is any of this cringe? Like, I'm not cringing at any of this. 
That's not real if you two morons are running this investigation. I'm a suspect? I thought lesbians were good at solving crimes. It's like the one positive stereotype perpetuated by cop shows. No, oh, because I- See, that's the meta humor that people don't like. But I think if that was in community and Abed said it, I would laugh. I'm laughing. Like, that's a smart line. I think people just hate Mindy Kaling. And I feel like people just hate when women are funny. Like, if you're a woman, you can't be funny. Like, it's unallowed by society. It's not allowed by society. Like, Velma being cringe for nine minutes. And as you can see, like, I'm not cringing at all. There's no cringe. It's, it's like, the discourse on Twitter is insane. It's like, anytime there's a women-led show, if anytime there's a comedy where the lead is a woman, it's just, like, controversy. It's like, political. Everything becomes political. She-Hulk is political because it's a She-Hulk. Like, where's the politics there? Why can't women be funny? If you don't think women are funny, you have serious mommy issues and you need to get over it. You need to learn how to empathize with women. You're an incel. That's just it. You're an incel and you need help. Like, I don't, you, there's nothing, you need to learn to understand women and <sighs> And also, you might notice that every single show that is led by women is review bombed. Every comedy that's led by women is review bombed. She-Hulk, re review bombed. Captain Marvel, review bombed. And Velma, review bombed. There might be something in common there. What's the commonality there? <laughs> it's a community that has majority men, uh, like Marvel, or like gaming, anytime it's like, anytime it's like superheroes or gaming or anything like that, review bombs, you know? Crazy review bombing. Because they're just insecure. And like, let's look at another example. Let's look at Deadpool. Deadpool, let's look at some Deadpool clips. You notice how it's called Deadpool funny moments instead of Deadpool cringe. I searched Deadpool cringe, nothing came up. There was nothing about Deadpool being cringe. Shit. It does okay. rhyme with pulverine. <laughs> Rich Corinthian leather. <laughs> I've never said this, but don't swallow. So bad guys can't see me bleed. This guy's got the right idea. He wore the brown pants. You see, it's like the exact same type of humor sarcastic humor super sarcastic obnoxious it's the same exact type of humor i feel like if ryan reynolds was playing velma literally everyone would love the show it's so ironic like deadpool humor and velma are the same let's take another example this is a recent example this game for spoken came out and honestly there was like a huge thing about it i will say it is extremely the writing is annoying but I feel like literally if De if Ryan Reynolds was playing this, everyone would find it fine. Everyone would enjoy it. <laughs> Yo, look at his PS2 ass graphics. Did I just do that? Well, definitely with my assistance. I did not just do that. We did. I just moosh it with my mind. Perhaps our connection has somehow awoken some abilities. I just moved shit with my mind. I just keep hearing I, I, I. I just move shit with my freaking mind! <laughs> Yeah, okay, that is something I do now. I do magic, talk to sentient cuffs, kill jacked up beasts. You know what? I'll probably fly next. Now you're just being ridiculous. I just move things with my mind. Did I just move things with my mind? Yeah, that was pretty bad, but you know, I don't think it deserved as much hate as I got online. Like, it's kind of cringe. Like, I mean, if you watch anime, all dialogue in anime is hella cringe. Like, every game out of Japan, I feel, has a really cringe dialogue. Like, even Metal Gear is pretty cringe. It's not on the plane of reality. You see, there's a commonality. My boy, Ryan Reynolds, Deadpool. My boy, Deadpool, he got Deadpool funny moments. And it wasn't called Deadpool cringe. It's like everything that has a women lead actor is cringe if they're trying to be funny. Like, for Spoken, so many clips out of context like online on twitter i felt like that was a perfectly that one was a bit cringy but i've seen other ones where we're like oh my god look at this one and i just thought it was fine i don't know why people were upset about it this kind of humor has been around all the time i mean it's literally deadpool it's the same thing as deadpool deadpool is as cringe as any of these other things but people give it a pass because they love ryan reynolds and it's a male lead 
Deadpool, if you think She-Hulk, Velma, Forspoken are cringe, then ipso facto, Deadpool's cringe too, and you must accept it. If you come to that reality, I will forgive you for not liking these things. And I'm not saying you have to like Velma, like you don't. But you should understand that you can give it a chance. You don't have to just watch like one clip on Twitter and just immediately make up your mind like that dude we watched. Honestly, and to, th to review bomb, you near seriously need to touch grass if you're review bombing a show or anything. Like, what is wrong with you? If you're review bombing, touch grass. What do you think? Is there a conspiracy against TV shows and movies with lead, with lead actors who are women? Will we ever get a comedy led by a woman that isn't review bombed on Twitter for being cringe? Like, if you think there's any recent examples, like, within the last two years, let me know in the comments. Like, I honestly don't know. I feel like every movie with a female lead in the past few years, like, during the Twitter time, has been absolutely review-bombed if it's even remotely, like, sarcastic. If it has this sarcasm factor of, like, Ryan Reynolds, but as a woman, it's just review-bombed to oblivion. But let me know what you think in the comments and follow for more. I'm going to make more videos kind of like this. And then I'm also going to be posting all my shorts. If you're not following me, I post a lot on TikTok and Instagram. And I'm going to start making more YouTube videos like this. So thanks for watching.